Hi everybody. The other day I was able to get Taylor's bus on the pit and give the front end a grease job, try to loosen up the steering a little. And so I wanted to show you a procedure that I've been using for decades. I learned it from an old man like me and I wanted to pass it on to you. The second thing then is uh, someday, or I should say Saturday, June 26th, a rainy day in Bloomington, Minnesota. And Stan and I took Taylor's bus out for a little drive just to see how it's going. Uh, I want to be sure that there's no trouble hiding somewhere before he takes it home. So uh, I'll show you the part about the grease job and then we're going to jump right over to uh, a short ride. So uh, sit back and relax. And uh, leave comments, subscribe if you will. I have neglected to suggest that, but uh, I'd like to see some more subscriptions. Uh, I think it's a great idea to have this YouTube videos. I get a lot of compliments, and I appreciate the compliments that all of you give me. I don't say thank you, thank you, thank you, as you know, but I see them all, and I appreciate it. So, out to Richfield Bus Company and Tyler's Bus on the Pit. Taylor's Bus on the Pit, not Tyler, Taylor, here in the Twin Cities. I got Tyler's Bus on the Pit now, and I'm in the process of Greasing it, the steering on this bus is unbelievably difficult. I wanted to show you that uh, the process I use is to heat, heat all these fittings, jack the front wheel up so that the weight of the bus is not on it. Try to jack it up to a point where uh, they you can imagine that there's no weight on the kingpin. The tire weight and the bus weight are perfectly balanced right now with this jack. And what I do is I heat, I heat up this kingpin assembly and that loosens up all that dirty old grease. So that's how I, I did that as you can see now there's fresh grease. Of course, the camera. See the fresh grease? It's oozing out of all the places it should be. Telling me now that I've pushed out all the old grease and dirt and water. Now I'm going to do this side. So, with a torch of some kind and a mild flame, don't use a cutting torch. I have a mild flame, and I'm going to warm up this whole kingpin assembly. As you can see, I've jacked it up so that the weight of the wheel and the weight of this axle are balanced right now, taking the weight off of the kingpin. All this flame you see is just a, all the old crud burning off. That's fine. It helps you. So what I want to do is I want to get this nice and warm, not blistering hot, but I want to get it warm enough so the old grease and dirt are soft enough to be pushed out by the fresh grease. And then I get over to the other side and I warm each side up slowly. Again, all this fire and stuff is just the old crud for me, so that's why it's just how heating up the system. So once the king's in, inside of the axle here, to be free of the weight of the bus, so that grease will ooze down from the top into it and up from the bottom into it and around the pivot point. Yeah. 
that should be warm enough now, so let's see how that goes. Little pieces of crud burning. Don't panic, it'll burn itself out. So, when I'm finished, I want to see grease oozing out of the places it should be. And leave a blob of grease on the zerks. That protects them from road salt and grime. Well, Bustle Man Phil here with Uncle Stan Holter, and we're going to take Taylor's bus out for a quick run. Uh, I want to be sure that it's ready to be running and drivable, so, so off we go. You've seen us before leaving from this spot, and I did, the last thing I did was get the windshield wiper fixed, so hopefully uh, this bus is running and driving. No lights on at work yet. I've just been totally consumed with getting it running and driving. It's 74 degrees today in Bloomington, Minnesota, and a light rain. So I'll get a chance to check the windshield wiper, which also needed repairs. A stick shift. Well, got one of them. How about that? Two in a row. Now the windshield wiper. Turn the dial, turn the dial, turn the dial. Turn the dial. There we go. Oh, look at that. How about that, folks? The windshield wiper works. Now let's see if the brakes work. You put your foot through the floor? <laughs> Not quite. Now I'm reaching down here for a stick, and there's no stick, so I guess I'll try this one. It's nice that a wiper works. There is no arm on the wiper for the passenger window. And I think I can get by with putting a little bigger blade. Oh, this bus steer is awful. Good grief. It is not necessary to wind these engines up to the governor when you're piddling around in town. You can get perfectly fine acceleration going up to maybe almost what they should be. They'll shift a lot easier. This one seems to shift pretty good. The turn signals work, but the problem is remembering to turn them off. Oh, 
so good. Okay, let's try four. How about that, Uncle Stanley? Are you there? Are you awake? <laughs> I'm here in spirit. Is this the street to... No, this no. is the next one, right? Yep. No horn. Yeah, around the gun. Let's go home. Turn, turn your uh, signal off. Uh, I'm going to turn now. <laughs> Let's see, what should we do here? Try for a second? There we go. Turn signal. Well, this completes phase one of the restoration of this bus. Our job of getting it running and driving is complete. So the next thing now is Taylor is going to move the bus to a parking place he has. And then I'll start working on the electrical systems. None of the light circuits work. I did get the turn signal working. And the brake lights work. And that's it. So it's a daytime driver. Turn signal. Now, why did it? I brought this up before, I want to bring it up again. You're shifting these buses, whether it's a column shift or a floor shifter, you use an H pattern. You go down, up, 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 up. You do not go diagonal. If you go diagonal, you're going to jam the gear shift and the transmission. Like that. And when you shift to the next gear, do it like that. Drop it down. Make damn sure that it's dropped into the next H pattern. Do not do a Z pattern or you'll jam the linkages.
tell you one thing. You don't rush in and out of turns when you're driving these things. Make sure you're in neutral before you let the clutch out. And there you have it. Plus old man Phil with Uncle Stanley Holter. That is all. The bus boys. Yeah.